Welcome into the Michigan Football Report. We've got some interesting news here on a Wednesday regarding a five-star safety, a player out of IMG Academy that in all reality seemed to have left Michigan off his finalists a month or so ago, but visited recently and now is ready to decide. And his name six finalists, and the man's name is Keon Sab. You've heard us talk about him before. He is a uh, top 25 player in the country, out of the state of New Jersey, but is uh, down at IMG Academy playing with a uh, the best and the best uh, in the country. He is going to now commit this Saturday. He's going to announce on CBS Sports HQ. If you uh, subscribe to their streaming service, by all means, watch it live. But uh, I'm not sure if actually many of you do. But he is uh, all of a sudden came out of nowhere just a few hours ago and said he has got six schools he's going to decide from. And that, of course, Michigan is one of those schools. Now, the biggest difference here that we're going to show you here in just a second is that it was five schools. And then Michigan dove back in. They got him up on campus a couple weeks ago. And it seems like Ron Bellamy and some other uh, coaches and recruiting staff have made him a focus and have taken over from where Don Brown perceived. This is at least what uh, others have said. I didn't really dive too far into Don Brown. It's old news with, uh, with Don. But that he really slacked when it came to, uh, to this player's recruitment in general. And that's why Michigan really wasn't in the fold for him when it came to now spring of his junior year, heading into summer. He'll be in his senior year of high school here in about one month. So his finalists are as follows. Michigan, of course, Clemson, and Georgia. And we put these in a particular order because I truly believe that these are his three finalists at the very top of his list. I would guess they would almost put any uh, wager out there that he will choose between one of these three schools. Also in the mix, LSU. You see what uh, Coach O is cooking up down there? We see these less Miles rumors. He never never put it past uh, LSU to, uh, to pull one out of their hat. Penn State, a hometown flavor. He's from New Jersey originally before he went down to IMG. Uh, Penn State is the, the hometown team right there on, on the, on the, uh, the border, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. And then Texas A&M, Jimbo Fisher making a good run at it, but unlikely uh, to land him. So I think it's going to be Michigan, Clemson, or Georgia. My gut says Clemson. And from everything I've seen, read, talked to people, it says Clemson, Clemson, Clemson. And perhaps... Perhaps the reason that he has decided to uh, announce this coming Saturday, three days from now, is because Clemson has tightened the screws around him. They're recruiting at the elitist level, of, most elite level of college football, along with Alabama, along with Ohio State, and a couple others, that they have the ability to tell a five-star recruit at a position like safety that, hey, we need you to make a decision, or we might move on to, uh, to another player. So I think think it's Clemson. People have said the reason he's pushed up is because Clemson's tightened the screws around him. He's going to announce them. But his dad actually talked to the media over the last few days and has put out some, at least one quote that we'll toss up here on screen that makes me think that Michigan has a better chance than a lot of people believe. He says, we talked to A&M yesterday, LSU yesterday, Michigan is every day. And he gave a few other quotes here, uh, his father, Antoine. But in general, I like the fact that Michigan is the one that they identified as the school that they're talking to every single day. Didn't mention any mention of Clemson, any mention of Georgia there. And maybe they're foregone, those are the, the two foregone favorites that's been the schools that we thought would be at the top of his list for a long while. So we'll see what happens. You've got three days to mull this one over. If Michigan pulls this one out of their hat, will be a very big, a huge upset in the recruiting world. No one's really expecting it. Most expect him to go to Clemson. So what I'm saying is this. Hope to land him. Hope he chooses Michigan. Think that the recruiting department put uh, their best foot forward. The new coaching staff has really identified him as a top-tier player that can help uh, shore up, a, frankly, a pretty weak secondary. But let's not expect it, right? Don't get your hopes up and then it, uh, get let down. He's been favoring Clemson or Georgia. Seems to be those are one and one A for the longest time. And although Michigan came in over the last two or three months and has put a heck of a foot forward in trying to secure his uh, his services, get a commitment out of him, uh, it's unlikely to go their way. So we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned. Four o'clock Eastern Saturday. If he comes to if he decides to choose Michigan, we'll jump on have an instant reaction video for you coming up on Saturday. Expect it to be Clemson or Georgia. But I'm asking you guys this question before we dive a little deeper into this story. Who is the best Michigan safety of all time? Some of you, uh, you, you, you old heads, you gray hairs, you're going to throw out names in the 50s, 60s, the 40s, the 20s, and not the current 20s. I'm talking about the 1920s. Uh, for me, though, I know people can say maybe Twi Trip Welber and some others. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Marcus Ray or Ernest Shazer are the only two options I have in you know, the last 20, 25 years or so. Uh, Marcus Ray, you know, late 90s in the 97 national title team. 
Uh, Ernest Shazer, the last uh, first-team AP All-American at the safety position for Michigan in 2004. I'm going to go with Shazer. Uh, I want to know from you guys. We asked this question about three or four weeks ago. We had a wide range of answers, so want to make sure that we give you the opportunity, if you missed that show, to answer below the best Michigan safety of all time. But what I like about this just announcement today that Michigan has made Keon Saab's top six is that the recruiting staff is aiming high, right? Some of you and I'll admit myself, have been a little bit discouraged with, although Michigan has got uh, a lot of momentum in the recruiting world lately, they've basically had a commit every other day for the past three weeks. I think Michigan, where they've had nine or ten uh, commitments since uh, middle of June, about June 22nd, 23rd. Uh, they're not always the top guys. Only two or so, two or three of those uh, commitments have been four stars. I think actually it's been three four stars and seven three stars, according to the uh, 24-7 sports composite rankings now you've heard me talk about the jy 365 all these guys rank much higher on the unbiased jy 365 but nevertheless um i like that michigan's recruiting staff is aiming high going for the top tier players you're not going to get them all but you're certainly not going to get these guys if you don't recruit them at all like which seems to be the case in a certain positions safety cornerback in some regards defensive tackle over the past two or three recruiting classes michigan is nowhere to be found when it comes to the top you know four five six players at those positions Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's this guy, Michigan Podcast. He's got some sort of bot system, I'm sure, of uh, subscribers. They all of a sudden got 2,000 subscribers in the past month or so, rocketed past us. They've got like 14,200. We're sitting at 13,700 or something like that. So you need 500 more uh, subscribers. Smash the sub button. It's right below the video. You're not going to regret it. News, rumors, no sugarcoating. If Michigan, we're not going to, uh, you know, lose, use cliches and blow shun, sunshine up your butt all day about Michigan football. We call a spade a spade. If you like the truth, if you like some inside info here and there, we are the place, the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports. Hit that sub button below. Let's take a look at the top 10 recruiting rankings. Now that Michigan has had this explosion of recent commits, they've Going up into the top 10, certainly a long way from the top five. The Ohio State Buckeyes, though, still number one. And they were number one at this time last year, and no one thought that anyone would catch them. Alabama ultimately did, but I think you could make an argument that those two teams, those two schools last year had the best two recruiting classes maybe of all time with uh, Ohio State adding JT to Alawa Alawa Mawa uh, on the 4th of July. Notre Dame, Penn State, LSU, Texas round out the top five. Then you pop into the bottom half of the top 10. Oklahoma, Florida State, Oregon has made some uh, some movements. You've seen the last few episodes. They've been 9, Michigan 10. Now they've jumped up to 8, and Georgia is 9, Michigan is 10. I would uh, I haven't run the numbers yet, but I would assume if Georgia or Clem or Michigan land Keon Sab, that, uh, that they'll likely pop up to that 8, 7 spot. But we'll run the numbers after that. We'll check back in on Saturday if it happens. Michigan's obviously not going to move up if they don't get them. If they do, they could pop up to the number eight spot. Georgia might jump from nine up to seven. We'll see. A five-star, though, can make a huge impact in your uh, you know, your recruiting rankings, especially when it comes to moving up inside the top ten. But I'll ask you guys to predict, will Michigan land Keon Saab? Will they land this five-star number two safety player, number two safety in, the, in America, uh, number 22 player overall out of the state of New Jersey, but is down playing at IMG in Bradenton, Florida? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. I'm going to say no. I don't, like I said, I don't want to uh, BS. I don't want to make sure that giving you guys any false hope. I doubt it. I think he ends up at Clemson. If he does, though, I will, uh, I will do something uh, special to acknowledge Jim Harbaugh's recruiting greatness if he lands this one, but we don't think he's gonna, going to uh, end up at Michigan. So I'm going to say no. Let me know down in the comments.